Yoweri Kaguta Museven, the President of Republic of Uganda, Your Excellency Samia Sulu Hassan, the President of the United Republic of Tanzania, my sister, Dr. Ruth Nankabirwa, Minister of Energy and Mineral Development of the Republic of Uganda, my colleague ministers, distinguished guests, ladies and gentlemen. It's a privilege for me to stand here before my two leaders and this distinguished audience on this auspicious occasion. A lot has been said about uh, the project so, and uh, why we're here. So I will not be labor to repeat. But I have two, three items. One is gratitude, another is congratulations, and the last one is a promise. So we are grateful for your excellencies. We are grateful for your leadership, for your visionary leadership. We enjoy peace, tranquility, harmony within our countries and between our countries because of your stewardship of affairs within our countries, but also your stewardship of our relationship. We are grateful for that leadership, and we, you provide example beyond East Africa. And we pray for your good health, continued wisdom, and long life. We're here today precisely because of that leadership that you have provided in ensuring that this project is uh, completed successfully. So I want to thank you again and congratulations on this day. This is a result of your guidance and your leadership. Your Excellencies, our country has a number of energy projects that are either being implemented or under preparations. We have the big one, East African Crude Oil Pipeline. We have Tanzania is purchasing power from Uganda. We have uh, Masaka Mwanza transmission line that is being thought about. There is Nsongezi uh, Hydro that we are also talking about. We have a gas pipeline from Tanzania to Uganda that we are discussing. We have this project as well that has brought us here today. So you can see we have a number of energy projects that we are planning, we want to do, and we are already doing. And hence come my promise, and on behalf of my sister, that for as long as we occupy these positions that you have entrusted us with, we will push these projects to completion and realize their objectives. We know that they are important to you, and they are important to our countries, and they are important to our people. And I know that, uh, and I appreciate, and we are grateful that uh, you have entrusted us with uh, this critical portfolio, uh, which touches and impacts the lives of our people, development of our nations, and prosperity of our people, and we don't take these tasks, tasks lightly. Your Excellencies, there are a number of uh, matters that have been raised today by the project developers. We have been working uh, on them for quite some time now. Uh, on taxation issue, there is a joint task force uh, between uh, Uganda Revenue Authority and Tanzania Revenue Authority. Our joint permanent commission directed these authorities to deal with the matter, and uh, we want to promise you that uh, we'll get to the bottom of it uh, so that it's not a challenge to this project, but also in keeping with our common interest as East Africans, but also within um, our relevant laws, applicable laws of our two countries. On the Eura permit that was mentioned, that is a very small matter, and we can deal with it even next week. We, Your Excellency, there is issue of uh, work permits and residence permits. 
Uh, we are in discussion to see how we can affect. As a local, the gentleman uh, who's a leader from here mentioned we are one people, and we know that we are one people. We occupy uh, same hills. Uh, so the movement of people in spirit of your leadership under the suffering community, it should not be a problem. Uh, we will continue to work on it, uh, balancing between uh, the right balance of staffing in the project so that uh, the skewed nature of what exists now is dealt with. This is within our ability to solve it, and we promise you that we will solve it. So I uh, want to end here uh, by, again, uh, reiterating that uh, Dr. Ruth and I are very lucky uh, to be led by leaders who appreciates, recognizes, and understands the importance of power and energy in the development of our nations. Uh, my job as Minister for Energy and my, uh, Ruth's job is very easy. Uh, when you have leaders who are in themselves insisting on investing public investment on power. Uh, so we want to thank you for making our job easier. Uh, the public investments, apart from the private investment power that are happening in countries, demonstrate your commitment uh, to put power and energy at the center of our development. So I want to thank you for that. And um, with that, I thank you for your kind attention. Thank you. Another